one thing I've learned building coops and I'll, I'll do it moving forward is bigger the door, the better. And this was a perfect size. You're always going to be moving stuff in and out, changing things. So my name's Eric Stavanis. I'm a full-time woodworker. I make custom furniture. My wife and I and our two beautiful little princesses. So we moved out to this spread. It's a family compound. I want to feed my family off the land. Make sure you hit the button. Follow us some more on this journey. Wow, this is where it all started. We we had a brooder with some baby chicks. Then it evolved to this, which was just a box covered in hardware cloth and a couple ladder roosts. It was wide open, except I mean, it was totally covered, bottom, sides, top. I just took some cedar strips, made a box, wrapped it in hardware cloth, totally predator-proof. But then winter comes, so they decided to put some foam on the outside and then house wrap it and then the idea was to just do some cedar fence pickets so it didn't look crappy like that but you can see i haven't got around to finishing that and then this side same thing i did some cedar pickets house wrap insulation i was going to make it look like the american flag maybe just for fun i like the little bit of design so we put a tarp over it just to keep the elements out and then i decided to go ahead and put tin on top of that so keep it nice and dry i put a new screen door on my brother-in-law's house he was going to throw this out so instead of throwing it away we just upcycled it screen the chickens would have pulled through we just put some hardware cloth over it works great repurposed screen door just did a little hook latch i don't throw anything away there's always going to be a time i'm going to use it their first run was 24 by 16 plenty of room for the amount of chickens we have it took them no time at all to rip all the grass out and it just won't come back we give them all kinds of toys and treats this was fun you can see the video for this i had one of these growing up up antique corn sheller drop the corn in and we just cook corn one thing again when you're designing your run this branch covered this whole area so if we were chasing chickens we'd have to stop go around they figured out that they could trick us going through here so i cut this off but it's a fun natural looking roost they love hanging out here it's so hot in georgia i'm building a chicken tractor to replace that this was a, a piece i had collected for that but it works great as it's just a, a little shady area some leftover plywood from a project and i made a just a waterproof feed station we were wasting a ton of food before i built this anytime it would rain it would get wet we'd have to scoop it out clean it out i just made a simple roof this is all hey we need something today this is what we got this is what we're doing 16 by 24 this wasn't here and this wasn't here so how this one happened is spike's brothers were they're just fighting and beating up the hens the mean roosters so we had to get a space for them quick so i just took the corner of their run added a few two by fours the guineas love to roost up here it's so annoying i'll tell you about this in a second anyway i just put a tin roof on a i took an eight by eight section so they'd have a run and a roost man they want to eat your face look at them anyway just took a corner of their run we call this the prison that's where the mean roosters go then we got some guineas which are fantastic i love them if you have a, enough acreage for guineas they grew up really fast outgrew everything quickly so i took another section of the run just made a door for the guineas and a roost we wanted a safe spot for them normally they roost up in in the trees way up high but it was nothing to train them to come in here at night go to sleep and it's totally enclosed totally safe that's carl so how it happened was carl was in our friend's neighborhood being tormented by dogs and they went and rescued him speedy carl we call him because it took like four hours to get him so we started with speedy carl and then we got six more carls and we let them free range all day they just go all over the place and unfortunately we lost some of the guineas to hawks and coyotes hawks mainly Lunch, buddy. Hey. That's why we built the channel for the chickens because of the hawk. But the idea was we could just pick it up, move it to some fresh grass like that. But I love these guys. They eat so many bugs. We haven't seen many ticks at all this year. The first year here, everybody had ticks. It seemed like every night we were picking ticks. But they do a great job. They're all named Carl, which makes it easy. Super simple door. I uh, just took some cedar, ripped it down, and made some two by twos. Made the frame, added some cedar pickets for support, and then put hardware cloth over it. And then I always keep hinges from doors. I got a whole bucket of hinges. Clean this off so we can just clean it. Eventually, I'm gonna hinge it so we can just. 
I gotta clean this out. Look. Bro, skinny poop stinks. And then almost lost one of the mean roosters, which wouldn't have been a big deal, to a hawk. Jamie happened to come out, heard a commotion, and it was getting the crap kicked out of it by a hawk. That's when we put the chicken wire over top. And the guineas, like I said, would roost up here at night before they went into their house. And they were always jumping in and tormenting poor Spike. They're like, they think chickens are bowling pins. Hey, the guineas like to climb up on top here, so I'm putting chicken wire up. Inside, wow, it's really changed a lot, but uh, we had oh the God. roost, then we uh, insulated the outside with foam, and then just used all the scrap plywood I had. And then we added the uh, nesting box on the inside, and this door is ridiculously small. This is what it looked like all open, and then we put uh, foam over the front just this winter because it got so cold. Just uh, screwed some scrap foam over it. it looks great it looks all the foam off the bottom because the chickens were pecking at it so i didn't want them to eat foam i do this a lot for doors it's so simple pre-drill a hole put a screw in keep it loose like this and then build a little l bracket screw it on i mean just it's a very primitive latch but it works great hardware cloth on the bottom because I didn't want anything getting up underneath. So what I did was just took a sheet of plastic I got at Home Depot. It was like six bucks and put it down on the floor. That way the idea was we could roll it up and just pull it out, but I would need to open this whole thing as a door to be able to easily clean it. So now we just shovel it out, but it works like it makes a great floor for now. There it goes. And we had a hospital coop in here, we called it, when Sharon got broody. And at night, they snuck all the eggs into the nesting box and Sharon, and that's where we got Fluffernutter and one of the white ones. What was her name? Oh, <laughs> then we got Fluffernutter and Glenda Mitchell. <laughs> the names the girls come up with, hilarious. I got to pick Spike. <clears throat> that's the tour of the coop. And then obviously, they ripped all the grass up, so it's so nice with the channel. They're just safe all around. I don't worry about these guys at all. We had a pool at our old house, and these, we'd keep all our floaties and stuff in so we just moved it down and now it keeps all of our chicken feed nice and clean and dry and handy it's evolving we kind of get the egg before the chicken or the cart before the horse buy chickens and then figure it out my wife will bring home a hundred flowers and we don't have any idea what we're going to do with them so that's how we roll we got chickens and then we figured it out so it's kind of our journey learned a lot there's so many problems on the homestead that need to be solved and i feel like every day i'm thinking of a new problem with the chickens a better way to do it i think i showed you this i keep this in here for a dust bath but bugs always hide under there and the ladies love digging them up <laughs> We got roosters in the back, roosters on the side, roosters in the goat pen, a rooster in here, and they just yell at each other all day. It's kind of fun. Hey, Spike, wondering what's going on, bud? Hey, thanks for following me on the tour of the homestead. Hey, big boy. Love how they come out to say hi. Stay tuned. It's always evolving, and we're learning as we go. So hopefully you're learning too.